Today on that ninja show, someone turned 40. It wasn't me, I'm older than that. But uh, it has to do with a certain movie uh, that just turned 40 recently. So we're going to talk about that wonderful movie right there and how it created a lot of memories for a lot of people over the years to now um, looking back on, on such a great movie and such. Um, we'll also talk about uh, some things in the pipeline and then also uh, an update to my contest winners. I got to get stuff out mailed to you guys. But uh, we'll talk about that in here in just a little bit on that ninja show. Shadow Warrior Collectors, time to get ready for another episode. Welcome, folks, to another episode of that ninja show. Shinobi One here. So today we are celebrating given honor to a great movie that turned 40 recently, uh, just last week, the one and only Revenge of the Ninja turned 40, the big 4-0. 40 years. 40 years of influencing a lot of kids' lives who started off seeing this either in the theater or on VHS, who eventually ended up buying a ninja outfit to wear during Halloween to terrorize the neighbor's kids. My uh, my friend and I used to dress up as ninjas and run around in our neighborhood and and of course we were we were just plain Jane in black ninja outfits and of course the neighbors were like you know that's not an original costume. I'm like the hell it is. It's a ninja lady. It's like, don't make me come back in the middle of the night and inject you with blowfish poison or something. Give me my damn fun size Snickers. Anyway. Um, so that movie started it all for me. That was my trip down the rabbit hole. And, and uh, it still carried over to this day. You know, um, I had the videos on VHS. I remember, since well, Blockbuster's not around anymore, so I can get away with this, but... Um, but yeah, I remember, uh, I remember taking the video and saying, oh, it got lost. And then, of course, I had to pay, you know, a ton of money to, to keep it. But I did it anyways. So I remember that little uh, caper happening back in the day because I wanted that movie so bad. Uh, flash forward to now, you know, it's, it's crazy because it influenced a generation from kids in Halloween costumes to you know, eventually buying an actual outfit to train in as a, as a gi for ninjutsu training. So that, that happened with a lot of, a lot of people over the years and such. So it was a great, it was a great thing that, it, that, that had happened. So, but, uh, as far as the collection, it eventually grew for me. Um, I started with the movie posters and I'm still doing the movie posters and, um, But yes, my collecting from movie posters to, you know, the soundtracks, I ended up snagging this a while back, the LP, which was awesome. Um, and then just recently, I got a hold of this little treasure. I now have it on CD, but the other thing that's pretty rare about it is that it's signed by Robert J. Walsh, by the director Sam Furstenberg, and up here, the late Stephen Lambert, Lord rest his soul, rest in peace. But I know the CD is a lot harder to get a hold of, but I did get it uh, verified that it of, of its validity from a friend of mine, and I was like, I have to get it. So. Uh, Prior to all the soundtracks and the posters and stuff, I still had some bits and pieces from my fan club, which of course, that was part of the fan club kit. 
and I took one of the pages out, which is the synopsis of the movie. Still has the rusted areas where the staples were, stapled to the back of this. So that was in and in and itself cool little collectible to have. And then what I refer to as my ultimate collectible, which y'all have seen me show this off way too much and I'm sure y'all probably sick of seeing this, but there is another one that I am also getting as well. Another stunt sword, uh, eventually. But it's cool to have something from the movie. Uh, I've always been a prop collector, and to have an actual stunt sword from the movie, hell yeah. Why the hell not? So... During this 40th anniversary, there is a group of guys that run a YouTube channel called Retro Themed Radio. They actually did a really amazing documentary, and I believe they're still adding more parts to it. But um, there is a 40th anniversary uh, YouTube um, documentary that's available to be seen on their channel. I will be posting the link down below for it. Definitely need to check it out if you haven't already. Uh, some pretty cool stuff on there. Uh, what's in store for me is probably more Revenge of the Ninja stuff. You can't can't get Revenge of the Ninja out of my soul. That is the first movie that really reeled me in and just grabbed me by the cojones. And, you know, the old monkey steals the peach and held on to me through all these years to where it's like... I've cycled back into it again. I'm collecting stuff, I'm doing these videos and sharing resources and sharing, you know, memories with, with a lot of you. So, which I see that the channel is growing in numbers again, which is awesome. Thank you again for, for your liking and subscribing. And then the other thing that I got recently was from Spain, which is... Shokasugi El Rey Ninja. Over 277 pages of the man himself. And it chronicles a lot of... A lot of his past. Even when he was like a little kid and everything. There's some little baby pictures. Baby show in here. Well, not baby, baby, but... Little show. And then little show. So... There's a lot of pictures in here that I've never seen before. Um, a lot of it totally just is mind-blowing. Of course, there's a picture in... There's, there's one picture that caught my attention. No, it's not the one where, where Ashley Farrar is about to show her cash and prizes, but it's the drawing of the Osaki clan symbol, which, of course, I have the patch now. And no, I, I don't mind seeing Ashley Farrar's cash and prizes. That woman's gorgeous without a doubt but that was cool seeing the drawing for this in there um, but it chronicles a lot of shows career everything in here showing even some old karate championship uh, pictures pictures of Keith Vitale with Chuck Norris and others so if you get a chance I believe there's still one on eBay I snagged this one off of eBay I believe there's still another one on eBay. If there is, I will post the link to it. Um, they do have like a little, a little, uh, one of those codes. I don't know if anybody can pick that up or not. Hold that still as far as I can. So if you can scan it, maybe you can find out the publisher and, and get a hold of one of these books for yourself. But uh 40th anniversary revenge of the ninja uh, i hope that it does reach to more people of younger generations and that they take notice to this great movie and hopefully either get them into martial arts or get them into collecting or enjoying these movies uh from what i saw from the meet and greet there was a good mix of young and old there to visit show and, and pay some respect to them so I hope that carries on. I hope it builds. 
And I hope that he may decide to do some convention tours, maybe come to Texas, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. We can only hope for so much. Anyway, happy birthday, Revenge of the Ninja. Thank you for getting me caught up into all of this and just really opening my eyes to, to some really cool uh, adventures with these movies and, and then also just even the collecting and so forth. So once again, happy birthday and stay tuned for what I got planned for next here on That Ninja Show. And welcome back, folks. So, uh, just a heads up. Uh, I got to get stuff in the mail for the contest winners. I did not forget y'all. I just started a new job this week. So, I've been a little bit behind on things. A thousand apologies to y'all. Uh, hey, you're getting free stuff, okay? Bear with me. So, uh, I'll have that out soon. Now, the theme that I'm looking to do for the next contest since it's going to be in December it's going to be about winter time so we're talking about snow ninja stuff so I'm thinking about doing a enter the ninja themed contest giveaway um, as far as what may be in it I'm going to see what uh what I can acquire through Republic of Lucha and Republic of Ninja on that end. But also, too, there may be some other cool prizes involved. Some may be from Luzord or the Samurai Connection. So I'm going to kind of I'm gonna kind of step this one up a little bit for December. Uh, I'm don't think that I'm becoming Santa Claus. I will not grow up my beard that thick again because back in the day when I was grossly overweight and I had a thick beard like that, I got really tired of kids showing up to me in the restaurants and telling me what they want for Christmas. So, yeah, I had to break it down to them pretty badly and let them know I'm not Santa. So don't do it. So, uh, December giveaway... I think it's going to be off the chain and I think you're going to dig it. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is still get some feedback from some of y'all and then maybe do like some mini giveaways. So being that it is the 40th anniversary of Revenge of the Ninja, I would like for some of y'all, if you want to, um, share with me your Revenge of the Ninja experience. If you went and saw it in the theater with, with family, if you first time you saw it was on was on VHS or on DVD or on Blu-ray, here goes my production assistant, Hella, walking in front of the camera. Love my cats. Love them. Yeah. Anyway, so share with me your Revenge of the Ninja experience and let me know what... Um, what it was like when you saw it for the first time. Uh, you don't have to bust out the uh, the foreigner uh, song. It feels like the first time. Just uh, kind of share with me and let me know what uh, what you thought of the movie when you first saw it. Did you watch it at? Uh, did you rent it at Blockbuster and then like lose the VHS tape like someone did, or did you see it in the theaters? Did you watch it like a Every time that it showed up on cable, I know I did. It, it's that's one of those movies where I can watch over and over again, and people will be like, "What the hell's wrong with you?" You know, there's there's very few movies where I can do that. Um, Revenge of the Ninjas one, Star Wars before it was called A New Hope. That's my second one, and then Empire is probably the third one, and then after that, modern movies, probably uh, the. First John Wick and Nobody. 
those are movies that I can watch over and over again. And Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon, of course. Gordon's alive. Anyway, so share with me uh, what your first Revenge of the Ninja experience was, if you can, in the comments, please. Uh, if you do that, I may draw your name and send you something if you want, just to kind of say, hey, thanks, man. I really, you know, what I what I want to do is just kind of get on common ground with a lot of you and and have y'all share some of y'all's you know stories with me as well. I love you know the the opportunity to have that kind of dialogue where you know sharing stories with one another and kind of reminiscing kind of those days where you used to sit out in the garage with uh with you know with like a cooler and talk about the olden days you know it's what old dudes do well at least old dudes like me and my uncles and my father before me so anyway if you do that That'll get you entered in on a contest that I'm looking to put together, too, on that. But December, I'm hoping to be off the chain with Revenge, with Enter the Ninja. Because like I told you in the last video, I collect way too much, or at least try to collect a lot of Revenge of the Ninja stuff. And I'm stingy as hell, so sorry. <laughs> anyway, this video I'm keeping kind of short and sweet. It's been a while since, uh, since I recorded. I have, uh, like I said, I've started a new job recently, so I've been kind of busy with that, and uh, my sleep schedule had to be changed, so I'm working mornings now instead of evenings, so it's kind of like, whoa, it's messing with me. But then, at least, y'all get me when I'm still a little bit bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and not doing these videos at 1 a.m. where I look kind of... <laughs> I'm not I'm not a, a president or a senator, so I'm not going to give you that. Anyway, so with that, folks, want to thank you again. Uh, we're up to up to 70 members now, and we're continuing to grow. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about this channel. If they like ninja stuff, get them over here. I'd like to hear from more people. I'd like to be able to, you know talk about more of these things and and cool stuff like this and then maybe do giveaways for for stuff as well so get your friends over here um like subscribe comment let me know your your history with with revenge of the ninja so we can uh hit some common ground and and have some laughs and such but uh for right for right now i'm gonna call it a day want to thank you again for your time time is a precious thing and when you share time with someone that's that's a gift and i really appreciate the gift of time that you've given me each and every one of you thank you so much uh, shinobi one signing off take care